Hey guys, what's going on? This is Curtis back with another video. Today we're going to be looking at Project QNT or Quant. It does have a lot of hype around it and I did have a recent subscriber comment on one of my recent videos that he wants to see a analysis on this project. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Before I start the video, please remember I am not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. Let's get right into the analysis. Okay, so here we are looking at quant. Uh, as you can see, I have my 200 day moving average up and we are trading below that 200 day moving average, meaning we are in a bearish state right now. I do have this trend line drone on the chart um, stemming back from March 19th, where you can see we have multiple touches of this trend line, as well as kind of in confluence with this 200 moving average. So it just kind of confirms that we are in this bearish momentum. So we have one bounce here, two bounces, three, four, five, six bounces. So we are definitely in a bearish state right now. Now, as you can see, I also have two horizontal lines drawn on the chart. This is recent support, one of our most recent supports, as well as this line here. Now, First, I want you to notice how far we go back on these support lines. These are stemming back way back here from July of 2022. So obviously, you know, price comes up. We hit this resistance line. We kind of pull back before we break through. We come back, it acts as support. And we just kind of bounce between those two lines for a little bit. Moving along, we have support right here on that $97 vertical line or horizontal line, sorry. Support, 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 support. And then it finally broke. So this is a very strong level of support and resistance, a very key level on this pair. Now on this horizontal line down here at $88, you can see we just broke out and we're actually in the middle of a retest right now. Uh, we are gonna see if we break back into this range, into this range here or if we just kind of do a retest and continue to fall down, but only time will tell. As you can see, we went from our bear market low from 13th of June at about $40 to a high at 228 on October 17th, 2022. And we've just been in this bearish momentum ever since. Again, we're trading at this $88 range and QNT or Quant does have a lot of hype behind it. So regardless of how it reacts to this price, this is a very good deal in my opinion. If you are a holder of QNT, I'd still, no matter what, I think this is a very valid price to buy at. Also, if you are a holder of QNT or any other altcoins, make sure your coins or projects are not on an exchange. I have a link in the description. I am a partner of Ledger. I do recommend to use a ledger or really any other cold storage, but preferably ledger. So go ahead and click the first link in the description. If you're looking to get a ledger, get your coins off the exchange, get it onto cold storage. What I'm going to do now is grab the Fibonacci tool. I'm going to draw the Fibonacci from this high to this low. The reason why I'm drawing from this high is because this is the leg that broke all this market structure over here. So I'm going to draw, I'm going to draw from this high down to this low. And the area that I'm looking for this price to actually come back at, and I do believe we will come back to this price sooner rather than later, is within this range here, this 0.5 to 0.618 retracement level. Reason I believe that is one, the 0.618 is our golden zone. Typically you see price almost always react off that price target or price point, as well as it's just in confluence with this very strong key level of support resistance. And just with all the confluences adding up, I do see us coming back to this point before we ultimately go even lower, if if possible, if that's what happens. Now, if price bounces off that 88 resistance, I could see us coming back to this $75 mark. We haven't been that low since July 11th of 2022, but it is another key level. So if this level right here does break right here, I definitely wouldn't be surprised if we come down to $75 per quant. If we do see it break below $75, there's really nothing stopping us from coming back down to $43. I just don't see it happening though, because that is a significant drop even from our current price. That's about 
I don't see that happening, but again, this is just technical analysis. It is something that is possible based off of what the charts are telling us. Okay, here we are on CoinGecko. As you can see, Quant is currently ranked number 37 with a market cap of $1.2 billion, a circulating supply of 14.5 million coins with a max supply of 14.6 million coins. So we're pretty much at 100% of the max supply in circulation, which is great. Leaves a very little room for inflation. So in theory, this coin, this project can really only go up as time goes on because there is no new coins for them to release into circulation to bring the price down. Looking at the statistics, our all-time high for Quant was $427. That was about two years ago, just over two years ago, uh, September 11th of 2021. We are down currently 80% from there. So again, that is quite the bargain at a price of $88 right now. That is a great deal to buy. Obviously, our all-time low coming from August 23rd, 2018 was $0.21. Cents. And about 40,000% up from there. So good luck ever going back down to that price. That is not going to happen ever. If you look at the all-time high for market cap, it was about $5 billion way back in September of 2021. If we take our previous all-time high for market cap of $5 billion, and we divide that by our current market cap of $1.2 billion, that gives us a 3.89x. So we would need to multiply our current market cap by 3.89 in order to see that old $5 billion market cap. If we take that 3.9x and we multiply that by our current price of $88.37, that gives us a price per token of $344. So not quite our all-time high, but still very significant returns if we do get back to that $5 billion market cap. If we go from the all-time high of September 2021 down to our recent low and if we were to go to the Fibonacci extension our first price target if we hit the 1.618 level would be $673 which is definitely very attainable and if we were to do, to do a full extension to the 4.23 we could see a price area of about $1,700 per QNT. Where do you guys think quant goes from here? Are we gonna see new all-time highs? Are we gonna bounce around in this range for a while? What are your thoughts? Please let me know. I'm dying to hear your opinions on quant. Are you adding to your bag? Are you holding off? Are you waiting to see these new all-time highs before you put any money into it? Let me know what you're thinking down below. And as always, if you have any projects you want me to do a deep dive on, please comment down below. Until then, we'll see you guys next time.